Um, I just wanted to make a real quick video here. Um, if you know about, if you watched the other um, previous video I did not too long ago about my vision of a uh, illuminated orange church on a hill. Um, and just the other day when I was reading in Revelation, something that I've seen before, but we all know when we read over again, sometimes it gives us new meaning. I realized that this ties into <clears throat> the New Jerusalem. And I had been praying, God, if you can give me something encouraging, uh, maybe a glimpse of the New Jerusalem, you know, but I was hoping for, you know, something like details, you know, like what it would be inside and all that. So maybe this is exactly what he was doing when he just gave me that quick little vision. Um, you know, some things were not necessarily made to know or we're not supposed to know yet, you know, and personally, I like surprises anyway. So, um, so let me start out here. <clears throat> I'll start right here. So this is Revelation 21, 9, the New Jerusalem. Let's see if you guys can see that. Okay. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. Great and high mountain. A high mountain. That's exactly my vision was a mountain. <clears throat> and showed me the great city. The holy Jerusalem. Descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God. Her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone. So, immediately I said, Jasper, hmm. I think that's orange, but I don't really know. I don't know that stone. So, I looked it up. And it says it's yellow. This is what Jasper it could be red or yellow. Um, to me, this looks more like an orange. They're calling it um, yellow. I call that orange. And that's the exact color. Well, it was like this color. Well, on the screen, it looks right. But when I look at it on the computer here, it looks a little yellowish. But it was like this. Just like this. And I see that as orange more orange maybe something's wrong with my eyes but um you know and he, they got this picture and you can clearly see this got orange in it so that actually even ties back to my vision right there the jasper which i never thought of clear as crystal also she had a great and high wall with 12 gates 12 angels at the gates and names written on them which are the names of the 12 tribes of israel three gates on the east three gates on the north three gates on the south and three gates on gates on the west so i honestly didn't even think of it like that um and then it continues down here the construction of its wall was of jasper the city was pure gold well my vision it was like an orange even though gold is gold i mean but it was a vision and it was blurry so me i i would i'm just thinking it shined it was illuminated so um was the lord showing me the holy city on a hill that's going to actually come out of heaven i believe he was i believe that's what he was showing me so um, I hope this is encouraging to you guys and I feel like it's coming soon um, everything in my spirit is longing for him and it gets hard it gets hard it gets it gets sad you know because I feel there's a, a great separation um, between me and, and 
most people don't understand this. Um, my brothers and sisters, you guys understand, but a lot of, you know, a lot of people maybe in your family or your friends, uh, a lot of, a lot of you are losing friends. Um, there's a great separation and, and I think that's God also getting us ready. We have to, we have to go through that, you know, uh, before prepare ourselves so to speak um and he's coming and he's coming soon um you know this is so exciting um let me see if there's anything else in this part that ties into it um but everywhere i was looking my concordance here oops um everywhere i was looking that when you talk when it talks about hill or maybe even to um, mountain. <clears throat> um, it's like a place of protection. And my interpretation from the Lord is he is gathering his people to higher places. Places of protection. Um... Jeremiah, quiet. Come on, I'm doing a video, boy. Sorry about that. My children are making noise in the background. I hope that's not distracting you guys from what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. <coughs> the mountains will be the mountains will bring peace to the people in the little hills by righteousness. Psalm 22. <clears throat> let's see um let's see let's see let's see let's see if there's anything else here but um i believe that it ties into um my vision ties right into that revelation he was telling me um he was showing me exactly what I asked him I said can I have a glimpse and that's exactly what he gave me a glimpse so um, I hope this guy encourages you guys um, let's see mountains and hills let's see. <clears throat> oh that's one I just looked at goodness sakes um, now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountains and shall be exalted above all hills, and all nations shall flow to it. As I, Isaiah two two. Now, I don't know um, because I'm newly born again compared to some others. I don't know if this pertains to the holy city, but it sounds like it because it says, "Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house." The mountain of the Lord's house. And what is the Lord's house? Well, it would be like a church. I saw an illuminated church, right? I called it a church, but it, it did look like a house. Um, <clears throat> I assumed it was a church because it was a vision, but you know. Okay. In the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountains. Of a mountain. And shall be exalted above the hills. Okay. Um, Isaiah 2.14. Upon the high mountains. And upon all the hills that are lifted up. so that might that might be it for now you know but I really think it pertains to that revelation I was on um, that's what my vision I'm convinced that's what my vision was about is about the holy city the new Jerusalem that was the meaning of my vision of my illuminated church on a hill or, or the Lord's house 
You know, that's what it was. That was the holy city. And he was giving me a glimpse. And it was orange. I thought it was orange. Maybe it was more of a jasper yellow. But I see that jasper jasper yellow as an orange. So um, that's what my vision was about. And I just want to share that. And hopefully it gives you guys encouragement. Because we're, we're almost home. We're almost there. Keep your focus on Jesus keep um turning to him um in everything and he will direct your paths god bless you all i love you all and we're almost home keep your heads up keep your eyes on jesus and um bye